I'm back. First of all, I'm really sorry I haven't made a video in like forever. Hopefully this will be the start of a long string of regularly scheduled videos. Please note that this is the 2011 version as opposed to the one made in 1999. I would like to talk about the original, but I actually haven't seen it yet. Also, for everyone out there who gets so annoyed when people say that anime is cartoon, when I say cartoon, I really just mean not live action. Another quick thing I'd like to mention is that I did look up whether or not you're supposed to pronounce the X in Hunter x Hunter, and I didn't really get a straight answer. But I'm just going to keep saying it, so I'm sorry to all the super fans if that's wrong. Now I should probably tell you I have seen a good portion of the show, but I have not seen it all the way through. But this isn't really a review on the show as a whole, it's more just my thoughts on what I've seen so far. I also apologize in advance if I mispronounce any of the characters' names. So moving forward with the review, Hunter x Hunter is an anime that starts out with a young boy named Gon. He is a happy, light-hearted child with ambition. He thought his dad was dead his whole life, but then he finds out he's alive, and he also finds out that his dad is a legendary hunter. In this universe, a hunter is an elite member of society. They become hunters by taking something called the Hunter Exam, which is a series of deathly mental and physical tests. Khan decides to then center his life around following in his father's footsteps and taking the Hunter Exam. Inside the exam, Gon is soon accompanied by a small group. They all have different motives and ambitions for passing the test. And of course, one way or another, they all end up sticking together. The first is a boy named Killua, who first appears to be very similar to Gon, except he's more mischievous and quick-thinking. Later on, he gets a lot of development, but at first he seems pretty simple. Another person in the informal group is Kurapika, a 17-year-old boy with a passionate vendetta. He's usually followed by a 19-year-old named Leorio, who has an obsession with money and wants to become a doctor one day. The first arc of the series involves Gon in the exams. This arc is really enjoyable, in my opinion. It starts out really lighthearted and then slowly progresses into some pretty intense stuff. Every series has its ups and downs in the beginning, but in my opinion, Hunter x Hunter started out strong. In the second arc, certain events take place that I'm not going to spoil for you if you haven't seen it, and Kilua goes back home. He has a very unusual home life, which I'm also not going to spoil for you, but let's just say it's not the ideal place to grow up. Gan, Kurapika, and Leorio go back to get him. This whole arc is really interesting, and it has a steadier plot. If the show didn't already have its hooks in your brain, this arc will probably make that happen. In the third arc, Gan and Kilua find themselves in the Heavens Arena. It's basically a fighting tournament in a tower, where with every battle you win, you move up a floor, and the goal is to make it all the way to the top. It takes a few episodes, but soon you start to realize you are in a training arc. There are lots of long explanations and examining people's techniques and rewatching fights. Admittedly, this arc is not the best. They explain a lot of important things, so I wouldn't skip it all together, but it wouldn't exactly be wrong to skip a part or two. The fourth arc is mostly centered around the character Karapika as well as a new group of villains. This is when the show really starts to get a lot darker, so prepare yourself for some heavy stuff. It's really well done, and we get a better look into Karapika's character. In the fifth arc, Gon and Killua deal with a special video game called Greed Island that was created for hunters. But soon enough, as interesting as that sounds, we find ourselves in another training arc. It's pretty much every other season. Of course, there are interruptions of plot and some decent fight scenes, but overall it bears a striking resemblance to the Heavens Arena arc. I think that the end of this season is really good, but it's just a lot of training to get through. And finally, we've reached the Chimera Ant arc. I really can't say that much about this because a lot of it hinges on the element of surprise, but I will say that it's the darkest season by far. If you've made it this far, then prepare yourself. I haven't actually finished this arc yet, I've gotten about halfway through. I can't really comment on how well they tied things up because I haven't seen it yet, but all I'm saying is this show may need a miracle to finish everything it began. Something I really liked about Hunter x Hunter was how different all the seasons were. 
Some start out light and get progressively darker, whereas some just start out dark and stay that way. There were definitely times when I was bored with the training arcs, but it's definitely worth it to get to the other stuff. Another thing the show does really well is it really makes you care about the characters. Even if you don't know that much about the characters at first, it really makes you wish you did. Specifically, Kurapika and Killua. Of course, all the characters have their moments, and granted I haven't seen the whole show, but I was mostly interested in those two. As for visuals, Hunter x Hunter is very pleasant to look at. The colors are bright and there's a lot of them. The animation is smooth. The show is really good at whatever it's doing at the time. If it wants to show you a really fun adventure, then it makes you want to go on that adventure. If it's showing you a really tragic storyline, then you're going to want to cry. Incidentally, a lot of the show is tragic. You gain a kind of respect for all the characters once you see their point of view. So basically what I'm getting at is that I enjoyed the show. For the most part, there's a pretty fair balance of light and dark, except for the times when the dark outweighs the light by a lot. The characters are really well done, and it does a really good job of getting you to actually cheer for the good guys. I give Hunter x Hunter an 8 out of 10, and, and I would definitely recommend it. So there you go, I finally made a review. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, but if you didn't, then don't like it because that would just be dishonest. If you have any opinions on the video, please leave a comment below. Also, you should check out Senshi and Sock Puppets YouTube channel to see more of my videos, or to see Josh review video games or David review movies. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll have another review up soon.